menu items. Now, how to add menus to your vendors? So, if you open here, you'll see many vendors I have already, but in your case, if it's a new account, you will not have so much. So, you can either create new uh, vendor or you can select from the menu. So, over here, you see the categories opens like this. So, the tab starts with the categories. What are the categories? Let's say sushi. And here inside the sushi, we have the menu. And inside the menu, you have here all the items which you can edit for that specific menu. So over here, let's start with the menu name. You can put here the menu name. You can put here the menu image. You can decide if it's vegetarian, non-vegetarian, or other. And price option, single or multiple. So single means that this is one dish that costs $5. Multiple means that this dish will have multiple sizes, like small, medium, large, and you can set up here the price. And also, you can have a discount price. So product name, selling price, and original price. So original price is typically the higher than the selling price, or if it's only one price, then leave the original price empty and just put selling price is the price what you're selling for. Over here are the add-ons, and we will cover adding add-ons into other videos. You can decide, for example, for this specific menu, add-ons will be fish, and here will be like the uh, the price for like, because you have here two, because here you have here two two products, and you're able here to have two add-ons. And accordingly, you select other add-ons, and you put the description, and you're able also to add ingredients if you wish, calories, allergies, and if you'd like to have some kind of more details, disclaimer or something, and you can decide either this item is popular. Then it will have an icon uh, of popular inside the app or spicy or spicy and you click submit you can also duplicate this menu or delete this menu from that specific uh, store 